Hey, it's Doug Lorian, and today we're going to look at my collection and how I display it. So hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. And first thing I'm going to talk about on the murals. Originally on this wall, I had my license plate collection, which I used a bunch of nails to hold them up, which you can probably see, you can see some of the leftovers. So I was looking for some way to cover them up as you know, best I can. And the original idea was to get some fan heads and use those. Which, if you ever priced them, their maximum size yeah, is around 100 bucks each. Well, looking on eBay, I found a company from Israel, of all places, that sold almost the exact same sizes for around 24 bucks each. So, I got three of them, including shipping around yeah, $85 and took around two weeks to get here but seeing that I got three for the price of one fat head I think I did pretty good and if anyone's interested I'll leave a link of that in in the description uh, for the shelves themselves I used some brackets that I got from Amazon and for a set of eight uh, they came at around $26 so you're looking at oh you know, about let's say between three and four dollars a bracket and the shelving which I painted black I Got six feet length of board, half around five bucks, you know, painted in black. So, half for each shelf, it only, you know, cost me around 11 or 12 dollars, which is pretty good when you consider the prices of shelves these days. Now, for the displays, if you've seen my other videos. I was using these plastic uh, three inch um, display stands which were working great but I wanted to find something a little bit smaller so I could use up less space you know if possible and walking through yeah, walking through Home Depot I found these seven foot long uh, trim pieces which were white which I painted those with white spray paint to give it a better look and I cut them up in like two inch increments and besides saving space what's nice about these is you know because they're you know straight edges I can do a better job of you know lining them up you know closer you know, to each other and when it comes to like moving them around, you know, all I gotta do is you know just pick them up and move them around. And if I need to do some like action photography, and I need to remove them from the base, I use something called museum putty, which you should be able to see under the boots a little bit. And I just remove them you know, from the base. Do what I want and then stick them right back on and the museum putty I'll include that link also in my description and I got those from Amazon and as far as the actual displaying um, you know I have you know displayed you know by series and you know, like here's the Obi-Wan series
And here are some of the, the Lucasfilm 50 years. It's hard to believe it's been 50 years. Some of the clamshell cases. Which I'm keeping these in the box. Um, just because I think the boxes are pretty you know, decorative. I like the crazy bunny one. So that wraps up the front side of my room. Now for the next part you'll see what I did with the boxes. So hold on. And right on back, this time I'm in my bedroom, which I have this I had this all this wall space and I figured this was the best place to display the back of the boxes. Which I think they're almost as great looking as the figures themselves. And I used the same basically format of um, using the same brackets except I used um, lumber that's eight feet long and added like a couple feet a couple feet or two at, you know, at the ends to make them a little bit longer to get more boxes. And if it ever comes to a point where I run out of space, I can always just, you know, turn the boxes to the side, which are almost as, you know, looks just as sharp as showing the whole, you know, back side. Yeah, so if I ever have to go you have to this way. I'm pretty much, you know, like, you know, stores might and display them. You know, that still works. But, you know, I love the back because you had a full figure of the illustration of the figure and the name of the figure and the series and the number, which I think is pretty cool. And the red series. I just decided I'm going to just you know show the numbers because just because it's a little easier. So that's my setup from the figures themselves and the you know the boxes. And I said anything I use I'll include that in the description to hopefully might you know help you out if you're looking to start. And that's it. So thanks for watching.